All right, welcome back to the Bible Ooh. Reading Project. It is Friday, and nope. today we are reading Psalms 15. Psalm 15. Thank you so much for being back on a Friday. Thank you. We booted Ryan completely off because mm -hmm. he was late. Yeah. And we, we do on time here. Mm -hmm. Plus, it was just fun having you on. Thank you. Very I just much. noticed Mr. Ryan standing in the doorway. <laughs> Mr. Ryan, she did an incredible job yesterday. He did not hear because he had to slip out. Yeah. Tell him and other people that may not know what you have done over the last like seven years of your life. Read the Bible every day, zero excuses. Woo! Yes, isn't that awesome? We have our first official Bible reading sponsor who's read her Bible mm -hmm. every single day since the sixth grade. Zero excuse. Is that not incredible? Awesome. So that is, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Unlike you, she yeah. has brought me a gift. I did. So go ahead and share that gift. Um, so I brought you a compass because we're reading the Bible today, which leads our life. So I figured it would be appropriate to bring you a random compass I found at the B-Kids building that does not work. A random compass from the B-Kids building that does not work. Mm -hmm. But there it's it the is. sentiment, the thought that counts. It is the sentiment and thought. Broken things mean a lot to people. Mm -hmm. Thank you You're welcome. so much. And I can tell by your look that you're feeling a little jealous that mm -hmm. you do have me a gift. Come on in and give it. It's okay. I I don't want you to feel left out. So so Ryan is back. Mm -hmm. He tends to kind of come and hog the show. I gave you I got what? you a what? black rifle beanie. No. There we go. You did. But it's like made for a baby head. <laughs> That's all right. Well, that is dude, thank you. Maybe you can get Did you me. really get this or did you just make it up? Um, I really got it in the mail. How did you get it in the mail? Um, my mom got me a Black Rifle <laughs> coffee subscription. It feels a little and small. And I have a big head, yeah. so I figured I'd give it to So me. really, it wasn't my gift. It was your mother giving it to you, but it didn't fit you, so you're re-gifting it. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing what he told Miss Barb to do. To re-gift. Yeah. I love this, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I guess I need to... Just, should I pull it over my ears or just... Yeah, like, okay. let it go up a little bit, then you'll look like the guy from Home Alone. <laughs> okay, cool like this. Yeah. 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 Black Rifle, sponsored by Black Rifle. Y'all yeah. blew it for Miss Barb. Yeah. Sure but mm -hmm. she, I'm sure knowing Miss Barb, she loves you. Compass, so, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Hat. To, what do you call these, by the way? Um, toboggan. Toboggan. Beanie. What do you I call them? I would say either a beanie or a skull cap. Beanie skull or skull cap, cap. man. Nice. Thank you. She needs to be on more often, yeah. man. She's Thank got you. that. She's got that hood lingo going yeah. on, you know the skull the skull cap. cap. I'm with it. Like, You're with <laughs> it. She's with it. Mm -hmm. I'm very grunge '90s. Yeah, yeah I'm not. I'm to, I'm toboggan. That's what I've called it my whole life. Beanie a toboggan. Like you're skiing. Like I'm skiing toboggan kind of thing. So mm -hmm. thank you for being back. Thank, thank you. you for the gift. Thank you're you for welcome. the gift, Mr. Ryan. Loving it. Uh, Psalm 15 today. All right. So uh, why don't you read it? Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll just jump in, talk about it, and end the week with a great week. Sounds good. All right, Psalm 15. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends. Those who despise flagrant sinners and honor the faithful followers of the Lord and keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Such people will stand firm forever. Ooh, man, that's pretty good. So here's my question. Who may worship in your sanctuary and who may enter. And then he goes into this thing of leading a blameless life. You grew up in church. I did. Like your whole life. You've been here at this church too, because mm -hmm. I remember you a little baby walking down the hallway. I remember that. Um, tell me growing up in church. All right. I'm sure you've had questions about God mm -hmm. and you see things going on in the world, but then you're kind of raised in church, your mom, your dad, your uh, and now you're in college, you're still very much plugged into God. Yes, sir. What has worship meant to you when you hear the word worship? Because it, it means a lot for a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Worship can mean the church I go to, the songs I sing, the prayers yeah. I pray. But you grew up in it. You've heard all the lingos and the you've seen a lot, I'm sure. But mm -hmm. when you hear the word worship in relation to God, yeah. uh, and let's say you had, you're in on a college campus. Yeah. And you have to define to a friend what worship means to you about God. How would you define in a practical way what worshiping God means? Well, I think of worship as one of two ways, whether it's worshiping God as in like the scriptures that say you enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise and worship. Uh, it's just 
paying reverence and honor to him, or it can be in the sense of that worship is more so a weapon, Mm -hmm. which I think people overlook a lot of times because they think, oh, it's just something we do to honor God, but also it's a weapon. It protects us. It Mm -hmm. um, keeps the devil away. It's Mm -hmm. a very important thing that gets overlooked more Mm -hmm. often. We think we just go on a Sunday, we worship him with our hands raised in service, and then it's done. But it's something that you need to work out every day of your life. So walk me through a college girl on campus who's learning to live life but worship God every day. What does that even look like to you when you say worship God every day, but yet I've got a science class, an English class, an exam. Mm -hmm. I'm going, you know, because college, it's nonstop, especially your first year. (laughs) It's just a lot of uh, anxiety and stress about testing and all of that. So when you say, yeah, worship God, and it's not just about church, but it's about every day of your life. How do you take God Mm -hmm. and worship God in a practical way while you're on campus? campus and going through the nitty gritty of life. How do you do it practically? Well, I tend to do it more so not like with everyone I meet. I'm like, oh, did you hear about Jesus? Did you hear about Jesus? I do it more so in the way I live by his example. I do what he would do. I just walk with people. I talk with people. I have, I do life with them and eventually they'll see that there's something different about my life. Like they've all my friends know I'm a Christian. I don't hide that. I tell Mm -hmm. them I invite them to church with me on Sundays Mm -hmm. because there's some nice churches around Rome that I go to and they've come with me. And I just like to show them that the way that I live is, I don't want to say like, Oh, it's the better way. Cause Mm -hmm. that sounds kind of like, Oh, I'm holier than thou, but it is the better way. It's the way that, God intended us to do life with him, Mm -hmm. to walk out our lives. He protects us. He watches over us if we just follow him. And Mm -hmm. although sometimes, you know, I fail, I'm not the best Christian. I'm not um, always so great Mm -hmm. and high, as you can see, as my Bible trivia is not Mm -hmm. super awesome. Uh, But I do my best and I hope that, you know, I can lead others to Christ by showing them his love. So you said you read the Bible every day. Mm -hmm. Um, How about prayer? How how do you put prayer or do you have a specific time every day? Mm -hmm. So what does prayer look like for you? Well, I'm doing this thing in 2021 where I want to pray more often, pray without ceasing. I want to, instead of like, if I'm just walking down the street, like put my headphones in and listen to secular music, I want to take that time to strengthen my relationship with God. I want to be able to just pray in tongues and, you know, get better at listening to God Mm -hmm. and hearing his word and hearing what he wants to do, whether it be like, Hey, don't go there right now. Or, Hey, do this, speak to this friend. They need you Mm -hmm. that sort of thing. I, so I'm trying to up my prayer life just Mm -hmm. in any downtime that I find this year. Yeah. I, uh, I've, my prayer time sounds weird. My prayer time is my drive. Mm -hmm. Typically I got about a 20, 25 minute drive from work back at home. And uh, I just try to do that. You know, Mm -hmm. it's just, if I'm not talking to somebody on the phone, I'll just try to incorporate God all through the day. I've never been the kind of guy that has a specific prayer time. Mm -hmm. Like, and I think I get a little jealous with people who do (laughs) like, Oh, I pray every morning at four or I pray every night at eight or I pray three or four times a day. I've never been that guy. Mm -hmm. I've always been like, I just try to think about God and and I may talk to him from here to the gym. Yeah. I may talk to him on a walk. Mm -hmm. I may talk to him in my car. I may be in line at Ingles and I'm just having God thoughts like trying, because I read a scripture years ago that said, Mary pondered these things in her heart. Mm -hmm. And I thought that's interesting. Here's the mother of God. And she's got all this download of who Jesus was going to be. And it said she just thought about it. And I looked that up. She pondered these things in her heart. And it kind of translated as she just thought about it all the time. Yeah. And so I thought, well, that might be a cool way to live for God. Like, I'm just going to try to think about him all the time. So mm-hmm. even if I'm, like, watching sports, I, I love UFC fighting, stuff yeah. like that. Even if I'm watching that, I'm always just trying to think God in, in li- inside of life. Yeah. Not like my God life and then my life. and But I'm just trying to bring God into the middle of it all mm-hmm. the time. So thank you for that. Here's a question for you. Um, all your years of reading the Bible, uh, what is your favorite person in the Bible? Uh, Who's I'm, your go-to? I definitely, this is a super like 
run of the mill answer, mm-hmm. but I've just always looked up to King David and okay. how he was a man after God's own heart. And also, um, it would be a tie between King David and Joseph. Okay. Just because I loved their stories. Joseph in the Old Testament or Joseph, the husband of Mary? Joseph in the Old Testament. Okay. So many code of colors. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. Do you have a favorite verse? I do. It's okay. Philippians 4, 16 and okay. 17. Okay. What does it say? It's the one I... I oh, you can look it up. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm kind of that way too. I'm I like, should oh, have no it memorized. No, it's good. I do not, unfortunately. So Philippians 4, 16. Okay. Here we go. It's... Wait, that's not the right one. Oh, no. Well, I'll just try and say that's it from fine. memory. That's fine. It's the one where it's don't worry about everything. Instead, mm-hmm. pray about everything. Yep. And mm-hmm. um, everything will... Uh, God will work everything in your good. I love it. I love mm-hmm. it a lot. Don't worry about anything. And that's hard, right? Yeah. Especially when you're in college. Yes. Not to be anxious about anything, but pray about everything. Thank you so much. Do me a favor as well. Mm-hmm. Inspire other people to read their Bible. Will do. Uh, you know, it's not about getting all the facts. It's about learning to incorporate God into every part of your life. Mm-hmm. So we encourage you. Amelia and I encourage you today. Read your Bible every day, but not just for facts, but that it keeps your thoughts and your heart and your mind on God all the time. And then wherever you can find time to think and pray and meditate on God throughout your day, do so. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to having you back when Mm -hmm. you're on break again. I know you head back off to college here shortly. So thank you for sitting in with me a few days this week. Bless you. We'll see you Monday.